What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, the 5 and 1, number 6 ranked East Illinois, taking on those Buckeyes here in NCAA 06. It is season, what season are we? I don't, man, I think it's season 6, maybe season 5, something like that. All I know is that the Buckeyes have always given us trouble because, I mean, hey, it's the Buckeyes. They got a solid quarterback. They got some good running backs, as you can see. They're fast. They're talented. It could be a struggle to stop these guys. Now, if you watch both games, you a real G and please believe you're going to be entertained because both of these games are straight fire, okay? You know how we do, baby. You know how we do. Now, some people have been questioning my play style. I try to play Sim. My idea of Sim is playing with or controlling one guy on defense, not trying to use her everything on defense. But the guy that I am controlling, I am controlling. It's not the CPU controlling him. I am controlling him, so whatever mistakes I make, hey, that's real life. And whatever plays I make, hey, that's real life. So let's get right to the ball game, baby. Butler, play fake, looking downfield, going to be caught by Brown. Brown gets pushed out of bounds by the homie Oliver. That's going to be a first down. Now it's second down and 10. Off the edge, the boy, Bernard Walker. He's a flat-out beast, adding to his sack record every single week, it seems. Like he gets in there for some more pressure. But that does not matter as Jones makes the catch. First down, Buckeyes. And then Hollis up the gut, and Hollis is loose. 10-5, touchdown, Buckeyes. So just like in recent weeks, we have to come back quick, fast, in a hurry, going up top to Thompson, makes the catch. And we're at the 44-yard line. First down, then 10. Boyd under pressure, rolls to the left side, still waiting, looking downfield for Baker. I'm needing that dough. And Baker's money, you know what I'm saying? First down and 10. Over the middle, Thompson makes the catch, and we're inside the Buckeyes 15-yard line. Boy, under pressure, and Boyd is going to get sacked on the play. Third down and 23 now. Boyd rolling out, looking downfield for Baker. Makes the catch. Touchdown. We going to the bakery, baby, because you know it's good. It's nutritious and delicious. Grandma's recipe, baby. So they get the ball to the big fullback. He's going to pick up a first down. It's first down and 10. Butler to the left side. Caught by Brown. Gets brought down by Shaq. Second down and two. Hollis getting loose again. Finally gets tackled after he picks up another first down for those Buckeyes. Ohio State continues to run the football well. Hollis gets this one upfield for another first down on the ground. Butler takes a shot deep. Touchdown. Caught by Brown, and the Buckeyes take the lead again. So, seven-point lead for the Buckeyes. We get the ball to Luke. Picks up a gain of nine. Third down and one. Luke up that gut. Picks up a first down from the 32. Play fake. Looking downfield is Boyd. He decides to keep it. Steps out of bounds after picking up a gain of five from the 37. Here we go. That pass going to be intercepted by Hall. Hall's going to return it. Up to about the 31-yard line. Under some pressure is Butler. That pass going to be caught by Davis. Walker had him, but he bit on the play fake enough to allow the pass to head downfield for a first down. And there goes Hollis again. Touchdown, Buckeyes. 21-7. Boyd, option. Pitches it to Luke, who puts it on the turf. Boyd picks it up, and he's running with the football, and that's going to be a first down. Get it how you live, baby. It's 21-7. to 7. We need everything to go our way from here on out. Caught by Thompson. Perfect pass by Boyd. First down, Eastern Illinois from the 26th. Third down and one. Can we convert? Yes, we can. And we're going to do more than just that as he dives to the 11-yard line. First down. Our formation, Boyd hands it to Coley. Coley headed to the end zone. Gets stopped inside the five. Third down and short. Boyd crosses the goal line. Touchdown, Panthers. And now it's 21 to 14. The Buckeyes get the ball right back, though. Davis makes the catch. Their tight ends, crazy good. Both of them. Second down and 10. Butler looking downfield. He's going to get brought down. That was a design QB keeper, but Bobby Freeman was having none of it. Butler looking downfield. Takes a shot deep. And the Panthers' D is like, no, 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 no. Panthers offense takes over. Second down and three. We get the ball to Luke running people over. Luke gets loose inside the 30. Makes a man miss at the 35. This boy got some game. Move those chains. Third down and 15. We're four for four on third down. Can we make a five for five? We cannot do it because that pass is overthrown. First down and 10 from the 23. Caught by Bryant. Shaq with the tackle. First down, Buckeyes. Second down and three. There goes that homie again. Mama, he's back. That's Walker. 
sack on the play is Butler, and now they're going to run the football, and we get a crappy animation as Walker brings him down, but his momentum pushes him for a first down. So now Butler throws it over the middle, caught by Hollis. He can run it. He can catch it. He might be able to pass it. He can walk your dog and water your lawn. Hollis, he's going to get the carry again. Breaks a tackle. Gets inside the five. First and goal from the four-yard line. And my homie, Felipe Woods. He didn't lay the wood, but he stripped the football. Collier jumps on top of that thing. We stopped the Buckeyes in their tracks. And that is going to do it for the first half of play. First down and 10 from the 14. Luke gets the carry. Luke gets hit pretty hard, but he picks up a gain of eight. Second down and two from the 22. Give it to Luke. Makes a man miss, and he's going to pick up a first down. From the 34, first down and 10. Boyd rolls to the right side. Going to set his feet. Fires has a man. That's Baker. Move those chains. We're in Buckeyes territory again. Coley gets the carry. Crosses the 30. Picks up the first down. Chase down from behind inside the 20. Second down and six from the 13. Boyd with nothing but green grass in front of him. He crosses that little white line. And that white line means the goal line, so that's a touchdown. Woods is in the backfield, stops the run play in his tracks. Third down and 12. Butler over the middle, caught by Jones. Gets out of one tackle, and that's going to be a first down for the Buckeyes. From the 37-yard line, first down and 10. Butler looking downfield, still has it. Give me that Yahoo! Zay her. I said, give me that, yo. Give me that user interception. The homie Shaq got this thing going back the other way. Boy, rolling out, still rolling. Looking for Gardner. Makes the catch. Gets out of the tackle. Nothing but an opportunity to score, and he takes advantage of it. Touchdown, Panthers. Hollis gets the carry, gets away from Falk, and now he's loose to the 40. The 30. You're not going to catch him. Not a Panther in sight. Good night. 28 to 20 is now the score. Looking downfield is boy. Decides to keep it. Has a first down in the sights. Picks it up. Steps out of bounds. First down. East Illinois we're in Buckeye territory. We get the ball to Luke. Lukey, baby. Up the gut. And Lukey gets this one inside the 20-yard line. First down and 10. Boy looking. Capers is open. Fires it. Capers makes the catch. Touchdown. Eastern Illinois. 35 to 28. Butler under some pressure gets away from one. You ain't going to get away from all of them. Okay. That's the homie Big Bobby gets the sack. So here we go. Third down and six. Boyd looking downfield. Still looking. Fires it off of the hands of Thompson. Possibly could have ran the football right there. But hindsight's always 20-20. Fourth down and six. Boyd under some pressure. Boyd looking downfield. Luke, the running back, tries to make an acrobatic catch. The hit puts him on his back, and the ball falls to the turf. So third down now. Butler under some pressure. Let's it fly, and Davis is mossing everybody. Big time catch. First down. First and 10 from the 45. They're going to go with the play fake. Taking the shot downfield. That's going to be caught by Bryant. Gets away from about 18 Panthers, and that's going to be a touchdown. Third down for the Panthers. Can we respond? That's going to be called by Thompson. Thompson crosses the 50 to the 40. Nobody's going to catch this man. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. How you like us now? Whatever you can do, we can do better. Please believe. 42 to 35. Butler, QB draw. He, he's going to try to pick up the first down. Can't quite do it. And we get the ball right back. First down and 10 from the 11. Boy, going to put this thing on ice. Third rushing touchdown of the day for the homie Boyd, who had a spectacular day through the air and on the ground as well. We know that we don't pass the ball too much. We are a running team for the most part, but we got some weapons on the outside like the homie right there, Antonio Thompson. So Nick Boyd was 9 of 15, 287, 4 TDs, 1 interception. I got to throw my daily pick in there. I do apologize. I should be better. But he also ran 16 times for a buck 13, 3 TDs, Luke uh, 17 carries, excuse me, for 110 on the ground as well. Antonio Thompson, just a sophomore, loving this kid, man. Four catches, 147 yards, plus a touchdown. So we were doing our thing, man. Defense, Oliver led the way with tackles. Walker with sacks, I mean, and tackles for loss. This boy still gets after it. Again, I'm still kind of shocked that he came back when he had a great chance to go pro. So my babies, Prime U, they, they, they done shocked the Gamecocks, man. Number four, South Carolina loses a shocker to SEC opponent, Prime U, 36-34. So with that loss and our win and Georgia Tech also losing, 
we move up in the polls, man. We are now ranked number four. All right, so this week is a pretty important week. It could be a trap game, but throughout the history of this dynasty, Minnesota has always given us given us problems, real trouble, real trouble. And next episode is going to be just as important as this one because, of course, we don't want to lose no more games. But next week, we're going to be playing Penn State and then Illinois for our next episode. So Sam Green, he's a decent quarterback, not the best. They're going to try to run the football, as you can see. 88 overall halfback. He's a senior. Chris Miller, the boy, can get the job done. They also have a good fullback in B.J. Williams. He's a senior as well. The receiving core... Not the best. We've seen better, but they can definitely make some plays. Their tight ends, decent. O-line, looking pretty good. Right tackle is going to be out. Right guard is solid, 87 overall. Left guard is 80. Center is 95 overall. So that interior of the O-line is good. Very good. Their deep tackles, beast. Linebackers, beast. That's what the Big Ten, at least back in the day, that's what it was known for. So their front seven, very, very good. Hopefully, we can get some pressure on their quarterback because the tackle situation isn't that good and make some big plays on offense, all right? So, Boyd, let's do what Boyd does, baby. Running that option to perfection. And just like that, we're in Minnesota territory. Minnesota got the ball first, but they went three and out. That doesn't matter because they got that pressure. And look at the D lineman running with the football. So, third down and four. They have the momentum on their side, but Shaq slams the door. Williams goes nowhere. Big Shaq forces them to kick a field goal. Three nothing. Minnesota on top. Luke takes it all the way in Minnesota territory down to the 40 yard line. Boyd over the middle, caught by Thompson, and now we're trying to take the momentum back. This could turn out to be a very, very good game. Luke, he's going to take it to the left side, and that's going to be a first down for the Panthers. Coley gets to carry. Weaving through traffic like your mama knew hair doing. We're up to the five-yard line. Second down and one. We can't quite get there. Third down and one. We give it to the big fullback, Jefferson. Give it to the fullback. Let the fullback eat, big homie. That's why I like to see. Jefferson crosses the goal line. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. They go with the halfback pass, and it's going to work. Parker makes the catch. First down for the Golden Gophers. Over the middle, another diving catch by Parker and another first down. Green, looking, fires it, caught by Ward, and this receiving court that's supposed to not be that good is making plays. Miller up the gut, I expected that to happen. He gave it to Brewster, who be leaving bruises. He just got one on his heart. And then look at the pancake blocks downfield, and Miller takes it across the goal line for a touchdown. Boyd trying to answer back. We're gonna find Howard, and Howard makes the catch. That's a first down. Second down and nine. Under some pressure and down he goes. Alexander, the big D tackle, gets in there for his first sack. And they get some more pressure. And just like that, we are off the field. So Minnesota has a chance to increase their lead. But great play right there by Hicks. And now we get the ball right back, forcing a three and out. So momentum is starting to shift back and forth, back and forth. Nobody has a tight grip on the game just yet. Lloyd, he's going to pitch it to Luke. Luke crosses the 40, crosses the first down marker, move those chains. Looking to pass is Boyd, gonna fire this one to the right side, caught by Capers, diving catch, and we pick up another first down. Third down and two, Coley up that gut, getting busy. Can the Minnesota defense stop our, stop our offense now that we are cooking? Baker, we go to the bakery, baby. You know it's all good every day. First and go, Luke. Headed to the goal line, crosses the goal line, touchdown, and now it's 14 to 10. Sam Green takes a shot deep, and that pass is going to be caught by Ward, and Ward's going to take it to the crib. Touchdown, Minnesota. Again, this receiving court was not supposed to be that good, but they are making plays. Baker, he keeps on making plays in that slot. Move those shades. Luke. Huge hit, and he's going to cough it up. Oliver with the recovery. My goodness gracious with that. With that, that was just a monster hit. And now Minnesota takes over, and Miller is loose. He's going to break a tackle, crosses the 21st down from the 18. Now it's second down, up the gut, and Miller picks up a first down. Can we get a goal line stand? Miller crosses the goal line, touchdown, and Minnesota's up by 10. And we, once again... We have to come back. Howard over the middle. Makes the catch. Move those chains. And the Panthers are on the move again. Play fake. 45 seconds on the clock. 
and boy just got demolished for sack of the game for Minnesota. Looking downfield is boy still looking, gonna find Baker. And we're inside Golden Gopher territory just like that. Another play fake. Looking for Antonio Thompson who makes the catch. First down from the 18. Looking downfield is Boyd to the end zone. Touchdown, Antonio Thompson. Let's head to the second half. First down and 10 from the 32. Boyd looking downfield. That's Howard again making all kinds of plays today. Move those chains. Another first down for Eastern Illinois. Second down and 10 from the 41. We run the ball. And there goes that roadblock again. Third down and nine. Boy, rolling out. Looking for Hodges, but that is going to be intercepted by Summers. And he is gone. Touchdown on the pick six. So we have turned the ball over three times today, but we still have a chance to win it. Call the under direct snap doesn't get anything. So now it's third down and now we got to have it. Boy going up top to Capers. Makes the catch. And he's loose inside the 50. Inside the 40. Still running inside the 20. And finally gets chased down at the 16-yard line. Boy on the option. Decides to keep it. Steps out of bounds but has enough to move those chains. Give it to Jefferson again. Touchdown for the big fullback. Everybody eats, B. Everybody eats. 28 to 31 is now the score. Green has it. It's third down. Taking the shot deep. Overthrows everybody. And we force a three and out from the 30. We get the ball to Luke. Trying to get up field. He's gonna he's able to pick up a gain of four. So from the 34 now. Looking downfield is Boyd on second down and six. Looking for Lloyd. And Lloyd makes the catch but fumbles. Howard is there. He scoops it up. Howard inside the 20. Inside the 10 gets chased down. Ankle tackle at the six yard line. Second down and goal from the two. We give it to Jefferson. They've seen enough of that. So third down. Boyd over the middle. Huge hit put on Antonio Thompson. That's going to draw the ball loose. And we're going to have to settle for a field goal. So 31 to 31. Miller gets the carry right up the gut. Gets brought down from behind by Oliver. But picks up a first down. Can Minnesota take the momentum right back? Fumble on the play as Walker gets in there for the sack. His first sack of the ball game. Third down and 17, throws it back across his body, broken up by Brewster, and we get the ball right back. They're going to have to punt the ball deep to Rosario, who's going to receive it from his own 24-yard line up to the 30. There's some blockers in front of him, up to the 50, up to the other 40. He's going to take it to the crib, untouched. Touchdown, Rosario. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois, and the Panthers are up by seven. They give the ball to Williams, trying to get upfield, and he does, muscling his way through traffic. Picks up a gain of eight. They give the ball to Miller, chased down by Walker. So another third down, third down and two. They give it to Williams again, and he's able to pick up the first down from the 33. Miller gets the carry, and he's going to get chased down by Walker from behind. All that speed off the edge is deadly. They give the ball to Miller. Miller can get brought down by Shaq, and his defense is no longer playing around. From the 34, what can Sam do? Sam Green over the middle to Parker. Stop shy of the first down marker. So from the 21, first down and 10. Luke puts it on the turf. Boyd is there to recover. But we can't have fumbles in a game like this. Second down and 12. Lloyd gets the carry. He's going to keep it and picks up a first down. Ball is crossed the 30-yard line. We're looking at a third down and 10 from the 32. Can we keep the drive alive? Boyd can let this thing fly. Caught by Capers. We're going to pass the 51 back in Golden Gopher territory. On the option, boy, he's going to break a tackle, stay in bounds, and it looks like he has enough for a first down. They're going to mark him inches short, though, so second down in inches, and boy breaks a tackle, still loose, fighting for every yard that he can get. James Butler appears to be shaking up, but that is a first down nonetheless for those Panthers. Jefferson gets the carry. They're going to give it to the fullback who picks up the first down again. Luke has not been in the ball game since that last fumble. Boyd picks up the first down himself. They're going to run the option again. Picks up a block. Pitches it to Coley. Coley headed to the goal line. Touchdown. And that could be all she wrote. But here comes the Golden Gophers with 51 seconds on the clock. Takes a shot to the end zone. Caught. He got a foot in bounds. Touchdown. And now it's going to be 45 to 38. The onside kick is underway. The ball is still loose. Huffman, he's going to jump on top of it. 
And that's going to bring this crazy one to an end. We had to come back again. We are not making it easy on ourselves. Some of these are, some of these teams we should be beating easily. We should be the favorite to win the Big Ten. But it seems like every Big Ten contest this season has come down to the wire. Michigan State absolutely just handled us. We beat up on Michigan. But after that Michigan game, it has been tough sledding. Every single game since then has been tough. Whether it was Northwestern, Ohio State whether it was this game versus uh, Minnesota. And again, next episode is not going to get any easier. Oliver, he had eight tackles today. Walker had six, three for loss, plus another sack. Bobby Freeman also had a sack in this one. All right? So next week, we have Illinois. They're ranked in the top 23. This is going to make it the biggest game between these two teams, probably in this whole dynasty, right? The seven and two on a two game win streak. They're ranked number 23. We're on a four game win streak now. We're seven and one and we are still ranked number four. Next week, we're also gonna be taking on next episode, I should say, we will be taking on the Nittany Lions as well. Number 22 as of right now, Illinois first, then the Nittany Lions, so that 22 ranking could change. But I'm gonna get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of the day is the best today. Y'all stay safe out there. It's the crazy world we live in. Peace. Love, say it with me. Hot sauce.